Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate Salsa running with Photon Voice to do some lip sync over the network. Uh, first thing you need to do is import Salsa. Uh, currently I've got the latest version, uh, Salsa 1.4, imported into my scene. Then we need to import the uh, Photon Voice. Uh, the latest version is 1.6, so let's go ahead and import that. And then once this is imported, then we're going to need to configure uh, our pun. And uh, the best way to do that is, if it doesn't prompt you automatically, is to go ahead and, oh, and there it is. And so in here, you're going to want to put your app ID or your uh, email address if you haven't created one yet. And since I've already created one, I've got to go ahead and put my app ID in here. And if you don't know what your app ID is, you can always look that up online. And if you want to see what your settings are, you can just go to uh, Window, Photon Unity Networking, and then do Highlight Server Settings, and it'll bring up the server settings component here. And then in this section, you'll want to set this. Well, if you have self-hosted or whatever, you just need to point it to something. I'm going to go ahead and configure US. And, uh, and then you'll need to put your, your uh, server app ID and your Photon Voice app ID in here. Okay, next you're going to want to go ahead and load the demo scene. I'm going to flip that away from there. And the uh, the demo scene is in this uh, pun voice demo voice folder. And we're going to go ahead and load this one right here, demo voice scene. All right, so we need to go ahead and set up a spawnable prefab. And those are located here in the resources folder underneath demo voice. And you can pick any one of these. Go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and use Zombunny here. We'll drop that into the scene. And let's change the name of it to uh, Boxhead. That's the model we're going to replace the Zombunny with. Go ahead and delete the model that's in there right now. This will disconnect the prefab. That's fine. And then under Salsa examples models. We're going to find these three models. We're going to go ahead and use the box head model. And we just want to drop that one in right, right underneath there. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is our model. This has got our skin mesh render. Where we want to put salsa is right here. So let's go ahead and add the salsa 3D component to this root object. And let's go ahead and navigate to it. It should be at the bottom here. All right, so what we need to do is link the uh, skin mesh renderer from our model into the salsa component. The reason we're dropping it here at the root is because this is where the audio source is that Photon Voice is going to be using. So I've dropped my skin mesh renderer. Let me move this out here just a bit. Skin mesh renderer onto the salsa object. It's the model that's right underneath this root. And then let's go ahead and auto link it. Boxhead has the preset salsa names. And uh, let's adjust this so that it's a little more sensitive just because the microphone tends to need a little more sensitivity. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So what we'll want to do at that point is move this into the prefabs for pun voice and those are again are under the resources so let's copy this in here and now we've got this new box head and uh, let's delete the one in the scene don't need that anymore because it's going to spawn in when the application starts and what we should get we'll go ahead and run this right now everything should work Oh, yes, so we're not seeing the box head. And that is because we've got to go to the pun setup. And underneath that, on the character instantiation script, let's expand this out. We need to tell it which prefab to use. So we're only going to do two-player multiplayer piece here. Let's do this. And then we want to replace these with our box head so that we can get our lip sync going. Yep. All right. Now let's go ahead and run it again. Now we've got our box head. We can see them here. And this is what we need. So let's stop this. Now, in order to test it on our box, we're going to go ahead and do a quick build. And we're going to just do a Windows build here. Let's build it into this folder. We'll let that build. Okay, we're all built. Now let's go ahead and launch 
what we just built. We're going to want to do it windowed, and this is high enough resolution for now for this particular piece. Okay, so we see we see our first character in place. All right, I'm going to use this one as a demo window since uh, this one's kind of small. But let's go ahead and connect this one up. And let's close this. All right, uh, now neither one of these is transmitting. We really only want one of them to transmit at a time. So let me go ahead and... Oh, that's that window. Let me go ahead and we'll have this guy transmit. So we'll back him up. And then over here we'll set this guy so that he can see it. And uh, we'll end up putting him in first person. So, so and before I turn that on. So when I turn this on, uh, my voice is going to be transmitting uh, via the microphone over the network between these two games. And what we should see... In this one, since we're going to be talking through this one here, uh, we should see uh, the lips moving on this guy. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to talk. I don't do so well in these instances where I've got a short delay because of the network transmission. But here's what's going to happen. All right. All right. We're transmitting. We're transmitting. We can see him moving. Can see moving. Let me go ahead and go, go, to, ahead first and go to first person. person. Whoop. There Whoop. we go. There we go. And, and this, particular this particular instance... instance that I'm looking at, that right, I'm looking here at right here is, is the Unity the Editor, Unity Editor version. version, and, and it, is it is transmitting over, transmitting the, the, network over the network to this, to built, this version. built version. And we're seeing, and the, we're seeing the, the lip sync, go, lip -sync on here. go on here. Okay, I can't talk, okay, like, I can't this talk like this anymore. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Um, you can just use this as a model and uh, branch out to whatever your requirements are. Hope that was helpful.